2022. Good evening and welcome to the May meeting of the Penfield Public Library Board of Trustees. We have a quorum tonight, but we're not all in the same room. We have four members of our board here, and we have Denise O'Reilly, who is at home, and we have some board members who are excused to attend concerts with children or grandchildren. So, and our library director is also at home. Hopefully she does not have COVID, but she's waiting for the results of a test. So we will find that out tomorrow. Anyhow, we have small numbers and hopefully we will be able Rhonda's to- here. Yeah, she knows. To move through the meeting quickly. <laughs> okay. Um, the first order of business is approval of the minutes from last month. Indiana, thank you again for doing a good job with them. Did anyone have any um, comments or revisions? No. Do we have a motion to approve? I motion. Thanks, Naraj and Jen will have you second. Sure. And thank you. And now we will move on to the financial report, Naraj. So our financials, our operating budget is um, good. We have an operating revenue balance of positive. Our gift and memorial balance is above our threshold, roughly unchanged from last year, um, I mean last month. And then our budget summary this, this month, our threshold is four months out of the year, so that's 33%. We're coming in about 25% in total expenses, and all of the expenses look pretty good. Okay. That's pretty much it. Thank you. Um, Can we motion to move? Yes. I'll motion to approve them. Yes, and Brett will second. second. Thank you. We'll get you. <laughs> <laughs> and um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. That was approved. Um, Naraj is going to have to leave shortly, so we're going to move the claims payment item to this part of the meeting. Okay. Jen, would you like to? Uh, I'd like to make a motion to approve uh, the um, vouchers for the amount of $43,008.61. I, I make a motion. I'll second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Thank you. And um, we are now ready for the, the um, report from Linda Cole, who is our town liaison. Okay, well, you know, <clears throat> there are things happening as far as the Memorial Day is around the corner. And so um, I'm hopeful, hopeful that someone from the library is gonna participate in this, but you know, every uh, Memorial Day, May 30th, we have a celebration uh, <clears throat> and we have a celebration of roses where um, different community members and uh, departments and so on like that will come and uh, pay tribute to those who have fallen and, and so on like that. So that's happening on Monday, May 30th at 10.30 in the morning over here at the Penfield Amphitheater. So I encourage everyone to attend. It's always a very nice, nice event. And if the weather holds up, even better. Uh, <coughs> we have, you know, Amphitheater series starts on June 3rd. It's a Friday coming up after that, <coughs> and uh, it's when the um, schools are participating in that. I don't have the whole list of, of people, but there's uh, food and there's um, music and everything at the Amplifier, <laughs> so please look for that. That's all listed on the Penfield website. You know, as far as the town board, um, our resolutions, there's nothing really exciting to mention, <coughs> except one thing I thought was kind of cool, and I thought I'd mention it, is that it's gonna be my resolution tomorrow night, and the town of Penfield was awarded $15,000 grant from the Genesee Valley Regional Market Authority for development of a children's garden at the Penfield Community Center. So we're going to pass that resolution tonight. That was some, or tomorrow night. That's what Sabrina Renner uh, put it together from the rec department, and so, you know, that part of the library, you're gonna be a part of that as well, so that's kind of exciting to put the children's garden there. Um, Otherwise, is there any questions you have about anything happening that I can answer? Because I think those are the highlights right now. Does anyone, Rhonda or Denise, do you have any questions for Linda? Is there a parade for Memorial Day well, this year? No, there hasn't been a parade in a long time. We, we used to have a parade back in the day and go down to Oakwood Cemetery and so on. But when we built the Veterans 
um, park with the amphitheater. We started doing all our, our uh, Memorial Day ceremonies there. And uh, the Penfield uh, Pops Band will perform, and, and the, there'll be scouts there. And, you know, it's a whole community event, so that's where we celebrate our Memorial Day. Great. Thank you. Um, we have our committees, but we do not have any reports or any <coughs> business for the committees this evening, um, which takes us to our director's report. So we will hear from Rhonda. Thank you. Can you all hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Great. How are you feeling? Um, you I, I think I have COVID. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I feel like I have the flu and I had been exposed a little over two weeks ago and I had taken the at home test every single day this, you know, since I got a cold. <laughs> but um, they were all negative, but it's just not getting better. So I went in to get a real test and I don't know, today it was even worse. So I'm glad I didn't go to work. So we'll see. You sound a Thank you for asking. Um, so we had a really good month. You can see the statistics. You know, we had a lot. Of, we were having more and more people coming into the library. It's It's been very busy. Um, and you can see from the statistics that, you know, circulation is up, overdrive is up. Everything is, is doing very well. Um, Barbara and I met with Supervisor Cinti to discuss the library's strategic plan, which has begun. We did have our first workshop. And I think those who attended, um, I, I think it went really well. We didn't have very much participation from the community. I'd like to see more. But those who did attend really presented some wonderful ideas and we had a yes. great conversation. The survey continues. So if you're interested, you can go to our website and fill out the survey to tell us what you think we should be doing over the next five years in terms of how the library grows. We're starting to plan our 80th anniversary, which will be um, the week of September 18th with several events for all ages, a family party, a tea party, um, a movie, a book discussion, and an Instagram challenge. So keep an eye out for promotion about all of those activities. Um, thanks to the friends of the Penfield Public Library, we are now offering Hoopla that started on May 1st. Hoopla is a streaming product that offers e-books, e-movies, e-TV, e-magazines, e-graphic novels. Basically, if you want it, Hoopla will offer it. And it, there are no holds, it's it's on demand. Um, we're asking that our patrons limit themselves to five circulations per month per library card, because it is somewhat expensive, but the friends are supporting this project for the coming year. And after that, it'll be part of our budget. So we hope it's successful. It's, it's, a, it's available at most of the nearby libraries. So I'm very glad that we are now offering it as well. Um, we are just about ready to hire a full-time clerk to replace Kathleen Wakefield, who we all miss. Um, that will come next month when we, all, when we actually have made that decision. Um, we did meet with the school to talk about summer reading and some collaboration projects, and that was great. We have a new scheduling calendar system that we've created in-house for staff to see what what time they'll have to be at work or what time they have to be on the desk. They can do that now from home, which they couldn't do before. Um, Deanna and I have been working really hard on policy folders and making everything really clear so we know when policies need to be revised. Um, I went to a training workshop for civil service. I'm learning a lot about civil services, so much to know. Um, that's pretty much it. Does anyone have any questions for Rhonda? Rhonda, with the Hoopla service, is there anything special a patron needs to do? Is it just a matter of downloading the app or? Well, we actually had a staff training session the other day and um, we did it for the staff and they were amazed at how easy it is. It's extremely easy. You can go through our website or you can go straight to hoopladigital.com and you can say, I want to create an account. When you put in your, your, um, your zip code is going to ask you what library you belong to and Penfield Library pops right up. It's going to ask for your Penfield Library card. It's going to authenticate you to say that, yes, you have a valid library card 
and immediately you can then download your 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 items <laughs> very fast. It's an app if you want to work on like a tablet or a phone. If if not, if you want to work on a computer, you can do that as well. You can do it on a Roku, an Apple streamer, just about anything you can think of. It's a it's wow. a, it's really an amazing versatile product. Nice. That sounds like enough that we might be able to get started. If not, would somebody at the desk help us? Absolutely. Okay. Thank you, Rhonda. And then um, if there are no other questions, would you like to talk about the budget? Give us a fast overview. Yes, yes. So, um, Raj, Barbara, and I did discuss potential budgets, and we sat down and talked about what we wanted to include for 2023 in our proposal to the town, but we're kind of hoping the town can afford to give us. Um, so we are assuming that um, salaries will go up up to 2% COLA, so we included the 2%. Um, we, some of our, many of our staff members have not received a step increase in many years. So I did inc include a large amount for step increases because we do have a, a very um, loyal and, and dedicated staff and, and they do need to be rewarded when they work hard. So I did include that. Um, let's see, books, there's a slight increase in books because the prices are just going up. We did increase more for streaming because now we will have Hoopla in 2023 that will have to be paid out of our budget. I took most of that money though out of the traditional video DVD music because um, although that's still really popular, it is kind of the same product and we have to just share the wealth there. Um, uh, magazines went down because the publications are not coming, they're all being canceled. So it was able to lower that amount. Um, I, the Monroe County collection contract, that's when a, a patron is so overdue for so long that it goes to collections. So we have decided in house now that before somebody goes to collections, we will contact them and give them their options. You know, tell them that they, you know, we don't want them to go to collections. That's a terrible thing. We want to talk to them, communicate. So we're going to do that now. And, um, and so we will save money therefore on collections. Um, small decrease for um, office software, because I just counted up the numbers and I think it's going to be less. Um, conferences, I did add a little bit of conferences. I do firmly believe that staff members should have the opportunity to meet with um, similar, with people who do similar jobs. And um, sometimes it's a New York Library Association conference. So you meet people from all over New York and you get great ideas. Um, once in a while you get to go to a, a national conference and that is just phenomenal. You just learn so much, excuse me, I'm so sorry. Um, so I would like to be able to go to a conference. Um, this year is still, it's limited. So, and Nyla is at Saratoga. So I'm hoping to bring two staff members to Saratoga. So I did increase it to the, for next year would be a little more of maybe a national conference and maybe we can invite two of us to go. We'll see. Um, we did, the, the largest increase obviously is building maintenance. We did, we are learning from our survey that our patrons do want us to do something, whether you know it's a full on new building we don't know yet, or whether it's a remodel. We, we're still we're still um, learning from our our patients what they want and what the town wants, um, but we definitely need to do some minor repairs because even if we're going to build a new library, you're talking four years out. So we do need to make sure that the building looks attractive and that people want to be in the building and that it's clean and and um, a good place to be. So I did add quite a bit for that. I did want to talk to you. It's not on this budget, but um, because I didn't include revenue yet because I haven't heard from the town all about that. But I did want to just present um, to you the thought that several libraries near us are are no longer going to be charging fines for children's materials and teen materials. And this would be a very large decrease in revenue. And I'm not quite ready to present um, a discussion about that, but I wanna just put it in your ear that to think about this, um, there are two possible ways to go about it so that we keep in step with our neighborhood libraries and with actually the national um, um, I, I'm sorry, what's the word? Um, this, the way things are going nationally, I'm sorry, I can't think of the word, um, but 
more and more libraries across the country are, are just are dismantling fees, especially for children and teens. So we can just say no fees at all, but we can also take the 35 cent fee and make it a nickel or a dime. There are different ways we can do it. But it would be nice if sometime in 2023, we sat down and had a discussion about how we can encourage um, more reading from our children here in Penfield. And one of the ways to do it is to do something about these fees and fines. So that's it. That's it. Okay. Any questions? Rhonda, I have uh, just a follow-up question on the, on the fees and fines for the uh, children and the teens. Mm -hmm. uh, as, as opposed to just eliminating the fee altogether, we thought about requiring like maybe a book report or something to a, a way to not a way a way for them to earn uh, uh, that fee off. Has that been discussed or is that being used in other libraries? I, I've now? never heard of that. I think it's a really cool idea. I kind of love it. <laughs> so yeah, let's let's put that on the table to discuss. I, I would talk. I'll talk to my librarians and see if it's feasible how we would do it. But I'm sure yeah. there's a way we could. I mean, in summer reading, when they come in and talk about what they've read, they usually have a little discussion with us, so we can do a similar thing. Yes, yeah, so anything is on the table. Absolutely, I think that's a really very unique idea. Love it. Okay, and then just stuff. Um, I know with Victor and Farmerton, they're combining their library services as. I you know we're you know kind of open in terms of are we going to build a new building or remodel the existing building? Has, has talks like that come up with maybe Webster or other local communities about maybe combining the libraries to offer a broader services or just a, a, a mega library I, like that? I don't think it could be done with a municipal library. Okay. Because we're chartered separately, so I don't think it's a possibility. Yeah. We can collaborate. We can save money by doing programming together and other functions, but no, I don't think we can combine. Okay. One of the topics that may be discussed, although this is just my thinking out loud, is that there might maybe the library and rec center go somewhere together, mm -hmm. or maybe they don't. Yeah. Maybe the library gets a new building. Maybe the rec center gets a new <laughs> building. Maybe nobody gets a new building. Yeah. But, <laughs> You know, we'll I have think to. somebody somebody needs a new building because yeah. we are we're just at our we're we're stretched to our limits and we can see from our survey and from what the, the conversations we're having with our patrons that they don't want our collection to be smaller they want our collection to grow they don't want us to have fewer programs they want us to have more programs so we do need space for all of that so somebody somewhere has to um, figure something out for us. So if we can do it. We'll figure it out. <laughs> there you go. And sometime after, we're going to have the next um, public session, and it will be done by uh, via Zoom next Wednesday, the 25th of May at 7 o'clock. <laughs> 7 o'clock. And for people who are watching who want a Zoom link, please check the Penfield Public Library website, and the Zoom link will be there. And after... Right. That session takes place in the end of the month when we have the surveys. We'll take the notes from the session we had last week, the notes from the Zoom session next week, and all the surveys. And the surveys are so complete. I was in looking at them today. And you know, sometimes other is a choice. They list the other choices. And it's really, it was kind of surprising because people, <clears throat> People wanted a new building, people wanted to renovate the existing building, or people said it was fine the way it is with minor updates. And then there was other. And the other, oh my goodness, they were amazing. Most of them said they wanted a new building or they wanted extensive renovations. They just wanted to tell more about what they wanted. But right. um, there are all kinds of things like that. And when what do you want to see? Again, under other, there's lots of stuff. So I think it's very interesting, but we'll have those printed out. And then as a group, I think it will be good for us to work with the library staff and come up with the plan. So yes, we're all looking forward to it. Yes, looking forward to seeing what we have. Um, does anyone have anything else to discuss? Or can we let Rhonda rest her voice? <laughs> and Denise just, and Denise just rest. <laughs> there any any other comments? No other business. 
You know what, Barbara? I just realized we did not have a chance to talk about the um, the staff identification badge policy. We voted on, on that last month. Did we? Okay, good. It's in the minutes. Okay, thank you. Yes. The one thing we did not have a chat, we did not talk about that you had mentioned to us in an email is the possibility of redoing the Brayman room and the kitchen. Oh, yes. And so I had, do you want me to talk about that a little bit? Well, I was thinking about that because, you know, there's a room on the back side and there's a kitchen. And you were saying, yes. oh, we need some construction. And I was thinking, we'll tear down the wall between them and open up the kitchen to the Brayman room so there's a serving place. But you probably need somebody who knows something about design and that's not me <laughs> yeah we have a lot of ideas and um i don't um i suppose i have a meeting tomorrow but i'm guessing i'm not going to be at work but I'll, I'll move that meeting with um the um the head i think he's the head engineer of town of penfield and the head of public services i think um to talk to go through the room and talk to them about what we can do jim and what Kreckman? we can put in the construction project what's that is that jim Kreckman? No, it wasn't Jim. It was Eric and Eric Tate. Eric, Eric Tate. Mark Valentine. Right, Mark He's Valentine. He's the town engineer. Right. Okay. Right. Oh, we Eric. So they were going to walk through the room because when you're doing this <laughs> production grant application, you do need actual estimates. So I, what I need to understand is, um, will the town of Penfield be doing the work? And if so, um, can they give me some, something, some kind of official document, or are they going to recommend a contractor? Because even way before we even start the work, even six to 12 months before we even submit the um, project, uh, we, we do need some, some estimates. So I just want to get going on that, and we can always change our mind along the way. And then we did receive the grant from Jen Lunsford's office last year for material for equipment in the kitchen. Right, right. So it would be nice if we could take that 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 um, twenty thousand dollars that we got last year and and parlay it into forty thousand dollars with a construction aid grant. Exactly. Because then we could do the whole room and we could make it a really nice room. Because honestly, I mean, unless we're going to another building, even if we have a renovation, we do need a very nice public space for our programs. Let's make this nicer. Let's make it better lighting, um, better airflow, um, better access with the kitchen. And yeah. when you do one of these grants, you can also include furniture. And our tables and chairs really are in need of They're of very tired. <laughs> yes. Yes, they are. That was going to be my next question. Can we do yes. new furniture with that? Yes. So that would be great. So you're just yeah, we, you're going to move ahead with that and just kind of let us know as it progresses. Right, exactly. And and when I have questions about design, um, I will contact all of you and invite you to come to discuss the options. Absolutely. You'll all be part of the project. Well, I think it'll be interesting to hear about. I don't know that all of us can contribute. Some people have more ideas on that kind of thing than I do, but it'll be it'll be wonderful to see. And as long as the walls in the Brayman room are a color other than white, I think it'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> we can do that. <laughs> um, if there is no other, Deanna? I'm sorry, I have one more. In reference to the employee ID policy, it does state in the minutes that it will be discussed at this meeting. Oh. Do we want to include it in the minutes to say that we'll discuss it at next meeting? Yes, I think okay. we should because I'd like to have more people here. I, yeah. I'm sorry. I, I just I looked at the minutes quickly and saw that it was in there, and yeah. that's yeah. So okay. we I'll, will we will postpone that discussion until next month. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for finding that. So we. We were able to catch that, and we will pass that next month or adopt it. Is there a motion to adjourn? Oh, wait. <clears throat> Who is auditor next month? Uh, that's Judy. No, it's Rachel. Rachel, Rachel O'Neill will be the auditor next month, and I will reach out to her. I can motion to adjourn. Second. Okay. All in favor? Okay, meeting is adjourned. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.